All right, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, TSI here, and I'm with my good friend Mobby Nerd, who you going? are probably familiar with from Magic Vlog Number Six. He was the one running the camera. He did the editing work on it, and we're gonna be doing a lot more collaborations. We should have like probably a collaboration video coming out soon, but oh, yeah. um, you'll probably see more of me on his channel. But I definitely want to have him more on my channel, and I'm gonna link his channel and his Discord in the description below. And be sure to check out my Discord that the People's Palace of Prestidigitation made for me. All that will be in the uh, video information. So what this video is going to be is something a little bit different. Um, I did a show with the University of Michigan, and it was with this improv comedy group called Comco. And I was just thinking that because you haven't seen this video before, Mommy, nope, right? Never so seen it. you are going to have like a fresh perspective. And then basically, I just want to reflect on my own work, kind of go over what was positive, what was bad, what I can improve on, and just kind of see like if this style of video is something that you guys would be interested. In. We're just going to try it out. So we're going to react to my um, performance at the University of Michigan. It was definitely one of my bigger shows. And I got to test out, like, a ton of new material on this. So, Fish. yeah, um, there was, like, two things. The um, Something that happens before the razor blades falling, which I had never done before. So that was new. And then um, the Gallows book test. So this was all, like, first time in front of people. I would like to preface something. Um Working with Comco, they're like a bunch of crackheads. Oh, man. So like at rehearsal, um, they didn't really take it very seriously. And uh, there's all that conflict of like they have a certain way they want to do things. I have a certain way that I want to do things and just different people. You know, it's always frustrating working with other people when you're not just doing it all yourself. Oh, yeah. So um, they actually messed up one of the music cues here. And I think we'll see it as we play the video. All right, let's get this rolling. So come out, everyone's excited. Right. The one problem though is using floss. It is really hard to like see at a distance. So I don't know how many people in the back can see this. How much of the uh, they can see like the floss? Yeah, they saw that I could do something, but... Oh, it, it, I, I mean, I, I was kind of rushing through here, because when I practiced it at my apartment, because I'm doing it to music, Yeah. Um, I wasn't able to finish before the music ended, so I'm trying to hurry here, but it actually kind of hit us before. So when I do this again, I'm definitely going to have to slow it down. Fair enough, fair enough. Right. So what I did is I took razor blades, and I cut up a bunch of pieces of floss with razor blades. Wound up all the pieces and then started. Oh, oh nice. Issues. Now, here I kind of run into issues, so it's a ditching issue. And it'll kind of show it. Um, so, that was actually a false climax. Like, people thought that was the effect, and then I'm tricking them because I have something much more sinister in mind. And then, like, a little bit of string got caught. Oh, there. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah so the it didn't perfectly ditch there, but oh. it doesn't really affect it. The rest of the stream is gone. So I don't think there is. No, I don't think anyone noticed. Because it's really hard to see. Yeah. So, razor blades are swallowed. Yeah. So they, the audience had no idea what to expect. And then they see this part. Yeah, like, what would you expect out of nowhere? So all of that definitely gonna work out. Good energy though. Good energy. Yeah, it was, I'm not used to doing performances to music, so it's like it has to be timed just right. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm more of like a conversational performer, so that was kind of a weird experience for me. But it was good. Like that was new material I got to try out. So. And this wasn't a paid gig, so everyone might be wondering like. Why are you doing all this new material at this gig? Well, I wasn't getting paid for it, so it was an opportunity for me to experiment. It's a great time to practice with it. Which is an apple and something a little bit more sinister besides this. Now, a lot of people have probably seen me do this before. Which is a metal Which is a classic. Nailed it routine. Oh, yeah. I actually won the talent show with this routine. This is my new hand. Well, based around trust. 
This is what uh, we filmed at the. Uh, uh, Milan. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm from this one. Now, this guy was one of the heads of Comco. Oh, okay. You're kind of excited to be up there. Yeah, you're kind of going to see me get frustrated. I don't want to get too sorry. It's like, yeah. Yeah, he's like going to be around real quick. It's like, no, I'm not going to let you How many of you are familiar with a game called Russian Roulette? I'll tell you how much that is for you. Oh, yeah. It was perfect it, like, um, to put, do better So the kind of concept of Russian roulette is uh, there's a couple of safe bags and then there's one dangerous one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take these bags. I'm not sure how weird this the lady was sitting next to us when we were doing it. It's like, yeah. 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 That's what I love about it. So what I'm Everyone like, thinks the bags are marked, but they're not. Like, that is not the method because I, since I framed it around its trust, like, I'm trusting the audience to tell me the right one, I have to pick the bag that they tell me. Yeah. Like, it has to be their number that they call. I can't be like, oh, I'm going to pull one over. Yeah, well, I was like, because he took a while. I'm like, just let me. I was like, let me know when you're done. He's like, I will. He was like, messing with me. And then later he would pick a friend, and then the friend was really bad. I'll try and pause it. I'm not going to see. Right. I kind of have this final sense of danger. Like we can tell from our gut when something is right or wrong. So I'm going to rely on your guys' sense of danger. No. We'll label the yeah. bags. That's one, kind of two, how I explain three, the magic. Four, it's like five. a primal and sense of danger. Like that. Which gut bag feeling. is safe? Two. Three. Two. I heard this one first. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ever get mixed up on what side? Well, I, I'm like, it's going to be one, two, three, four, so they know, but Josh actually had the suggestion. I actually, this was good. I remembered to take a pause there to let that go. Yeah. But one, two, three, four. Josh had an idea. The way I number it, so I go from my left to right. <laughs> All right. This is right around here. I get kind of angry. I wasn't angry when I was performing, but like watching it again. All right. Is there anyone in the audience that you trust? Um, I, I, I trust Jordan. Jordan went back there. Right. So this Jordan <laughs> character. <laughs> Jordan went back to one, two, and three. For your friend Adam. Here, Adam. Which guy can say, come on, man. All right, so I clearly say, for your friend Adam here, who is the head of Comco, uh -huh. I clearly give directions. Tell me which bag here is safe. That is what I clearly told him to do. Everyone in the audience heard me. This is what oh, Jordan yeah. does. <laughs> and then, so yeah, he's like messing with me there. He's like, yeah, what's up? It's like he was completely ignoring me. It's like, why would this guy pick such a douchebag to be a part of this routine? It's like, ugh. It had to be someone named Jordan, too. It had to be yeah, someone what's up? In, yeah. Yeah, what's up? And then everyone kind of laughs at that. But I just kind of ignore it, but... <laughs> Number two. All right, Adam, don't feel like Yeah, he's actually the guy that screwed up my music cue, too, because he was running the sound. So I kind of get him back here a little bit. His hand, like, he's but shaking. He's like, he doesn't want to do that. He's like, oh, he's my luck. I love it. <laughs> he, he was shaking pretty bad. Except for like that Jordan part, like it's not my yeah. fault he wasn't paying attention. That's not two bags, yes? Yeah. There's always the Thought odds making a full of heck was a good way to turn the video yeah. around. Yeah. There's now a fifty percent chance that I could get hurt, fifty percent chance I could come out okay. I need someone who's gonna label bags. One, two. Which bag is safe? Realistically, one is how bad could you mess with yeah. 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 like that? Yes, you. Two um, two it's pretty bad. bad. There's a video on the internet sure where a woman had to go to the hospital for a Polish TV show. What's your name? Yeah. Ansley. Ansley. I've, I've wanted Ansley. to play it before this performance. Not quite quick. I need to rely on an old so. arm. <laughs> Apple day gets the doctor laugh. That's the <laughs> only time I've been <laughs> able to get people to laugh at that joke. Ansley. So I'm happy it landed for the Ansley. first Ansley. time ever. In your hands. <laughs> Apple a day, the doc, doctor leaves the audience. A lot of my jokes were landing that night, though. It seems like it's a good energy. Yeah. Uh, that could have been my hands. 
Okay, that one right there, that was Josh's suggestion. So you notice I took like a little pause. Yeah, like, that moment of hesitation. Yeah, and then I spike it because what I normally do is I just immediately spike it. And yeah. then Josh had the idea that was like really good was let them um, acknowledge that, okay, right there's the spike. And then surprise them like after like waiting three seconds and then spike the apple. Then like you get that bonus moment yeah. instead of just like. Spiking that realization right. that okay it's real yeah and what i love right here is like the color contrast so i'm in black and white and then you just see that nice red it just... all right so now this next part is called gallows and this is my first time ever performing this and um i would say 75 percent of the jokes in it were original to me some of it i kind of had to borrow from the guy that invented gallows but uh, a lot of it is material that i wrote and i'm not you know a comedian so like this is like brand new stuff to me so like it landing meant a lot so a lot of this is gonna be brand new now i saw pictures of the setup before and this is what i think it is yeah we were meeting a lot then <laughs> i'm excited yeah, so I kind of transitioned like well, it's a game and then we're going to play another game. Hangman. Hangman. What's? Oh, that's yeah. part of your routine yeah. in the background. Yeah. Right there? Oh, okay. yeah. Because I wanted to show the meme of the up and the a blank blank to the yeah. but we couldn't. We didn't have a projector, so I just had it right. Like if you imagine, we look gorgeous. We got to get sort of frame. Oh, excuse me, that is. Luck be in the air Luck tonight. Be in the air tonight. <laughs> I wanted to show the meme, like, who would watch that? but it didn't work. Rhetorical question, but you guys are about to see that right now. So I need this. <laughs> uh, it was unfortunate we didn't have to. So I need like, a volunteer. You don't have to come up on stage. You can if you want. You can actually remain in your seat. So volunteer really close by. Steph, how about you in the front? Okay. What's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin. I have two books here, Caitlin. Okay. I have the Plan by Charles Short and The Glass House Mystery by Matthew Portland. They're both kind of meh, but I'll let you have your kids. Let's do The Glass House Mystery. The Glass House Mystery. I don't really think that one. I don't know why. Is there any particular reason why I picked this one? I feel like I've heard of it, but I guess I haven't. Okay. Later on, she becomes a very frustrating <laughs> spectator. <laughs> any random page, okay? okay? Not the first page, because you might have thought that I broke the binding, so I gimmick or sin flinch or whatever. Okay. Alright, do you have a page? Yeah. Is that page I? No. No. Okay. Let me try something. Is that page even? <laughs> uh, yes. Yes? Yeah, I borrowed that joke. So that joke wasn't mine. But I, I, I figured it would fit with my character. Tell me what the word is. But I need to be kind of big. So we're actually going to play Hangman for real. We're going to assemble a real gallery. I need you to have a little bit of a bigger word. I got a good one. You got a good one, okay? I need you to count how many letters that are in that word. Um, nine. Nine, okay? Now the thing is, I trust that you can count, but the thing is, I don't want to be up there swinging on the gallows. And you're like, oh, you know what? It was actually ten. So <laughs> I had your neighbor confirm for me that it's nine letters. She can't count. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? She just like it is not yet. ragged on her friend okay. there. <laughs> Threw them under the bus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's all the like crazy ones. Because I just kind of left them on the table. They're like a pain in the butt, like, because they get wound up. Like. It looks like they can get okay. stuck together a little bit too. Little bit of okay. I'm glad that he did this. That way, the audience yes. can play along yes. with like the okay. letters selected. So. So far. Yeah. It was really nice that I had him kind of assist me. No. No E. Chris, you know what that means. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time to bring out the bass. Ooh, I always get excited when that happens. Sorry, I just saw it when the bass drops. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. It was more of a joke for me in 2013 than it was for you guys. Yeah, so that joke was original to me. I didn't know if that would land or not, and I got some laughter, so I'm like, yeah. there a drop of the bass. Yes. Yes, there is a T. Great. Is there an S? No. No S. Okay. That's too wrong. Chris, I need you to get the central leg, that hole, and stick in the hole. I would usually have a joke about this, but I couldn't come up with anything about to get a hole in the hole. So, <laughs> you couldn't come up with anything about holes and holes. Um, no? Yeah, that was another joke I wrote. And then, like, the thing okay. was to be like, so, no, can't no. think of anything. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Is 
is there a item you can't in X? No. No X. At this point, I'm just like straight trolling. No one laughed that I asked X, but we'll eventually get to figure out how to kill dead time as he constructs that. But you're all looking at they figure out like purposely trying to make the game. Yeah, you're getting like abstract, but like yeah, X. Yeah, so I do X. I think the next one I'm gonna do is Z. And at that point, they laugh because they get what I'm doing. Is there? No X. Is there a Z in the room? Yeah, and then they laugh. No, <laughs> Now they realize. Oh. <laughs> you bring up the chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really bad. It's funny. There's like that doom, doom, yeah. doom, doom starts playing. See, what's interesting about this part, I mean, there's going to be another joke that happens right before this, but uh. most people have seen people like be put into a noose and like hung up on a gallows in movies. Yeah. Very few people have actually seen it live and in person, so it's kind of an interesting experience for a live audience. Oh yeah, <laughs> could that actually support your weight? Probably. Oh. Not. <laughs> I have to be really careful after rehearsal the other night. I almost fell and broke my neck. <laughs> And then the chair, I thought I was about to pass. It yeah, did not do that. that rehearsal. That chair is wobbling. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking. I paid $2 to see this cash in. But fear not, dear audience. I assure you, my ex girlfriend would pay a bunch more money to see this there. I'm glad that was another. Now I know what I'm doing here, but ladies and gentlemen, oh, I really hope he doesn't hurt himself. The man is thinking, that's never time to put. <laughs> okay. That was What's your name again? Caitlin. Caitlin. Caitlin, it's essential that everything you say after this be yes. Uh, I'm going to commit to a word. You want me to tell the truth? <laughs> okay, yeah, and so everyone could hear her say that. She, I, like, the joke just went right over her head. Yeah. And I'm like, you're killing me here, Caitlin. Caitlin. You are actually, and then you kind of hear me whisper to her. I wonder if uh, the audio picks it up. Okay. <laughs> when I said that, I was like, <laughs> just like kind of a frustrated but that's the works that makes it funnier it's just like yeah I mean it. as long as I'm getting laughs <laughs>, <laughs> alright I committed to a word Caitlin I'm going to commit to a word for the first time what is your word labyrinth <laughs> is that not what you had <laughs> Caitlin where did you say you were from Gross point, but I did Gross didn't. point? I don't know how to spell in gross point. Where I come from, you spell it like this. Yeah, the other thing I'm going to want to probably do is write it on another sheet of paper where it's bigger. Because yeah. I don't think I'm going to see it. I was really going to do it. That was kind of freak somebody out and having someone there. Just because, like, if you get the smart aleck, it's like, that will just lean forward if you actually tried to hang off. But having someone to stand there, like, the execution of holding, like, you're ready to Oh, yeah. good that's actually a really good finale i really like the gallus one the best if i'm being honest that's pretty yeah. unique and that was like the first time i've ever done that in front of like a live audience um it so. seemed very well received yeah um i kind of just want to take out all the borrowed jokes just like not even use them and just stick to my own original yeah, stick, jokes you're, you're, I've, honestly your jokes kind of hit better yeah i and i think there's like a theory behind that it's just like you can't tell another person's joke because it doesn't relate to you. Yeah. So, like, you know, the thing about, like, the ex-girlfriend, like, I know this is, like, a ghastly sight to see me up on the gallows or whatever, and you're thinking, why did I pay $2 to see this? And I'm like, but I assure you my ex-girlfriend would pay a lot more to see this <laughs> the, sight. The so, best humor comes from your own personal experiences. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to rely on that. But uh, Just read the room. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like this was the most comedic performance I've had today. Like this, I've had people laughing. The one joke about like an apple a day keeps the doctor away. That one never lands. Like if you watch any of my other videos, uh, whenever I use that joke, just dead silence. <laughs> I can say out of what I've seen from what you've done in the past so far, I'd say you were the most animated in this one. That's what Josh said too. Like this is where like my character like truly came out for the most part. Cause you know I, I try to be like a little bit of like an internet troll. I, yeah. I, I definitely like to mess with my audience a little bit in a respectful manner. But, um, 
it, it was more material that I like. So, like, razor blades on it's like, right. you know, it's kind of like a edgy effect. <laughs> edgy. Yeah. Um, but then, like, nailed it. Like, people are just, like, you know, freaked out by it. But the gallows, like, when I had actually, like, put the noose on my neck and stood up on the chair, uh, my mom was in the audience, and she said that a guy sitting next to her was just, like, this and, like, freaking oh, out. My gosh. <laughs> so, like,. Yeah, a lot of my stuff is um, freaking people out, but... Honestly, that's, like, reactionary content, like, that's good. Yeah. Scare people a little bit more. It doesn't mess with them. Yeah, I, like, I don't want people to think that they're about to witness someone actually get hurt, so the humor kind of, like, Softens comforts the them, but th- you're, they're about to see, like, you know, some pretty yeah. <laughs> ghastly images, which is great, but, yeah, I that was one of my favorite performances, honestly. Even though, like, a lot of the spectators I had... Like, since it's a comedy show, people are just more naturally attuned to heckling you. Uh, oh, yeah. Like, oh. I don't know. What is it about comedy shows and, like, hecklers? It's just a natural thing. Some comedians actually want hecklers because that's them. They're waiting for them. They got yeah, stuff ready. Like, I'm going to clap back. Yeah. Because the clap backs are what makes stuff go viral. Yeah. I guess I just need to get more, like, magic clap backs and I don't know. What I, I could have done make... is just slam that dude's hand on the back. You like, could have. think about doing that. Oh, my gosh. That would have, that'd be messed up. That, like, just go, like, you're gonna do it, like, like, be psych like, him out. Oh, you know what? Here, how about I have you do it? Yeah, and just, yeah. people think I'm actually, like, angry at him or something. But, it's all know. in the tone. It's all how you yeah, do it. Yeah, I, I try not to show, like, any frustration with the audience when I'm performing. Like, you know, Caitlin was a little frustrating, and then, like, the Adam and his friend Jordan, like, they were a little frustrating. But, like, I try not to let it show on my face that I'm with them. There's a really horrible That's what joke. these videos are for. <laughs> I gotta ask this question, and I know like, I, I could say, never ask this question if you actually do a show, but has any illusionist who is black done the gal? <laughs> uh, <laughs> never mind. Cut I, the, I'll I cut don't that know. Out. No, 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 no. That, that's actually kind of funny. That I don't would, know. That Someone would be, in the YouTube comments, if you know, let me know. Um, that'd be f- really messed up. Oh, like, no! Actually, in a magic book, there is this one effect where, like, it's called, um, I think it's called, like, Black Man in the Sack. It's uh, from a, a 1930s oh magic book. Oh, my God. And it's where, like, I think, yeah, like, someone's, like, but they say put someone in blackface if you can't get, like, a black man oh to do it. Oh, my God. Yeah, they, they recommended it's putting someone in blackface. It's written in the description. That's yeah, I, I should up. do a whole video on that. They're like, now, if you can't find a black gentleman to do this for you, just... But I'm blackface. Yeah. And so, and what the thing is, is, oh, it's called Ku Klux in the Sack. Oh, it's where my. they're, like, trying to, like, lynch someone. But then, like, the magician switches places with the <laughs> A product it's of so, the times, people. It's so messed up. It really is. <laughs> it's, like, from a 1930s magic. What state was it that had all those representatives that got caught with blackface? Uh, Virginia. Virgi- guess, get someone from Virginia to do <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, anyone here from Virginia? Yeah. In office, I mean, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. But I just, no, there really was a magic effect called Ku Klux in the sack. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that's about, a video. It's about stopping a lynching. <laughs> that's a video. Yeah, I should do a whole video on just like the old school racism of magic. <laughs> I, I am intrigued. Yeah, I am intrigued. That sounds. That's something I would watch. All right, guys. Well, if you like this kind of like reaction style content, just let me know. Maybe I could react to some of my more cringy videos. Hey, and, those are the best. Yeah, do like my own kind of seven or maybe twelve days of cringe. Because I'm sure I have plenty of cringy videos out there. The beauty of a cringemas flashback montage. You can learn from it. You can observe it. Yeah, I learned from this even. Oh yeah. Like even like with the razor blades, it's like okay, I need to just like. When I'm, like, slicing up, maybe just take a little bit of time. That way people can see what's going on. Because I was just kind of, like, hacking away, like, really fast. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out Mobby Nerd. We're going to see a lot more content from him. He uploads way more than I do. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hit that bell icon on this channel. Yeah. All right. See how that works.